Let me ask you some questions. Are you sure that God loves you in spite of everything? In spite of your sins? In spite of not answering every request? In spite of your troubles? In spite of disappointments? Do you still believe that God loves you so much? Or do you doubt it? This is the difference. Love believes all things. God loves me whatever he does, even if he didn't answer my earthly request, as I am sure that he will bring me to heaven. This is the important request that I'm sure he'll answer. If he rejected any other earthly request, he still loves me. Do you believe that God talks to you? People think that God talks with saints and prophets. You are his son. He called you by your name. God talks, but you don't want to hear. You don't even believe this idea. Once I said to someone to read the Bible and God would talk to him. He answered, God talks to me? Why not? He loves you, so he will talk to you. This is why we attend many divine liturgies and read the Bible many times, and we don't change because we don't expect that God would talk to us. Why not? He loves you, so he has to talk to you and answer you. Do you trust that God works by you? You may say that you are a new servant and don't understand anything. This doesn't prevent God from working. This is his way. Do you trust that he works by you? This trust is what makes you serve happily. He works by you, with you, in you, and around you. Think about this. He works by you so you may find people changing because of you. He works with you as you may find things go smoothly and he is helping you. He works in you so you change inside. He works around you by your fellow servants and changes the circumstances. This is God. Do you believe that God is glorified in your weakness? When you are so weak and have many problems, you find that God did something big by you. Someone once had a big problem in his home and he was serving a family with a marital problem. He wanted to say that he had a bigger problem at home. He told me that in one hour, this problem was solved. He left and told God, what is this? My home is in ruins, but I could solve their problems easily. This is God's work. If you trust him, he can do this using you. His problem at home was resolved eventually. Do you trust that everything around you is God's plan, not chaos? Or do you think, like others, that life goes into chaos? No. What's happening in Egypt is coordinated to the millimeter. What's happening at your work is coordinated to the millimeter. What's happening in your health is coordinated to the millimeter. Everything is coordinated to the millimeter. Is God playing a game? The issue is you don't trust him because you don't love him enough. The person who loves believes. You still have gaps in your trust. The Bible says that without faith it is impossible to please him. Hebrews 11 Having faith in God is the best thing that pleases God. Throwing yourself at him like a child. Laughing, fully assured that he will catch you. Even if you get thrown from the tenth floor, you being completely sure nothing bad will happen to you is what pleases him. Many servants serve, but they don't please God because they are anxious and worried and calculating everything. This is a lack of love and trust. Hebrews 11 Without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him.